Hello, friends. Good evening. Happy Friday. How are you guys doing? Um, hi, Mari. Hi, Deb. How are you? I hope you guys are all doing super, super awesome. I hope you had a great week. And a lot of you will be joining me tomorrow. And we're going to have so much fun. For the warm wishes, wonderful weekend of crafting. And uh, there's going to be a lot of you. A lot of you are going to be there. We're going to have so much fun. I can't wait. So tonight will be short and sweet. We're going to do something fun. I grabbed, I think, everything I need or at least what I want to use tonight. If you want to play along, I'm going to be using my uh, neon texture paste. I'm going to be using a new set of stamps I just ordered for Mr. Tim Holtz. And then I have a die that I'm going to have to decide if I'm cutting out of. I don't know. It's November, but this is going to be hot, right? Hot in the city. It's going to be fun. It's going to be super fun, um, quick and painless. And then I have to set up my room for tomorrow because it's a big day and I need to get my rest because we're going to be going, it's going to be a marathon crafting tomorrow, marathon crafting, but don't let that scare you. We're going to have a lot of fun. How's everybody doing? Hello, Megan. Hi, Ada, Laura, Kelly. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Hope you guys are all doing okay. Everybody can hear me. You can see me on the Facebooks and on uh, YouTube. Whoop, whoop. Hi, Angie. How are you? So today I went to do, um, if you have been my friend for a while, you will know every year I go and make my own um, urns for Christmas. So for the, well, they're Christmas, but winter urns. So uh, I could only get in there today. And I went and did that and it felt good after uh, many, many weeks lately of a lot of hours of work to go and literally do something creative and fun just for me was awesome. And then I went in, I go to a place, if you know uh, Southern Ontario or the area I live in, which is Niagara region, there is the most amazing flower greenhouse called the watering can. And I go every year and I donate large sums of money. Plus I make my urns and I went and did that today. And I will show you pictures. I, I took pictures, but didn't post them. I just, it was, it's crazy. Every day is just crazy time. Right. But, uh, I love it. So Lil is saying, so she's watching and she's saying we both have the same shirt. It's not red though. Mine's hot pink. Did you buy it at old Navy and look at my earrings. So I'm going to share something fun tonight. Can you guys see those? So tomorrow I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram and it is going to be, I saved the card so you guys can see, because I'm telling you, let me show you this. I found this um, jewelry maker on the interwebs on Instagram and fell in love and she's in Australia and I don't care. I order from her all the time. I, but these ones I'd have to say are probably one of my favorite pair ever. And people commented today. They liked my earrings. But for tomorrow, for my Christmas weekend, look at the ones I was showing everybody last night. And now I don't know where I put them all. I don't know what I did with them, but I have this pair handy. So the lady's name is hellolittlefriday.com. Look at these ones. Rainbow gingerbread houses. Oh, my goodness. Are they not adorable? And she, oh, here they are. And she is the most delightful lady. And I love um, supporting small business and um, uh, women run businesses, men run businesses as well, but small businesses. Oh my goodness. I think these are the ones for tomorrow. Aren't they amazing? So I'm going to do a giveaway. I won't show you yet, but she sent me this whole package of uh, ear bobs that I'm going to be posting on um my Instagram account tomorrow. And uh, again, the company's name is called Hello Little Friday. You will want to take a gander. And she sent all this like pretty wrapping paper and I'm gonna rewrap it. Look it. <gasps> it's going to be an awesome gift that I am going to, somebody's going to win. And then I'm gonna mail it with some Vicky Booten stuff too. So it's gonna be like early Christmas. I'm gonna put some really fun things in there and mail it out. But I wanted you guys to know if you aren't following me already on Instagram, make sure that you check that out tomorrow. It's just Vicki Booten on there. I will be posting that giveaway in the morning and I'll let it run for the week. And then with it will be some favorite things. 
So I'm going to do these earrings are my favorite things. Like seriously, rainbow donuts, rainbow donuts. Oh, I love them. So I'm going to do that giveaway. And Libby, I see you on here. I owe you an email because I do want to take you up on the offer for some hero art stuff. So, and then you know what, when you send me stuff, I'm going to do a hero arts giveaway too, because I think that would be super exciting as well. But yes, I'm going to be posting that tomorrow. So if you like ear bobs and you want a chance to win and just show her some love, because I think the world needs more of it. I've, I've got some bad news today that is a little heartbreaking and um, just reinforces the fact that put good out in the world because the world needs it right now. Even when you're having a craptastic day, try to turn it around to a fantastic day by just um, sharing a little bit of love comment on people's posts because they put it out there because they really you know they want to hear from people we put ourselves out there i think um i don't know maybe i'm hungry for attention i don't know or crazy but for me it really is just connecting with this community i absolutely adore uh like tonight i shouldn't be here i should be getting ready for this all weekend event that i'm teaching but i went i can't not i have to meet with my friends so we will be um, having some fun. Not sure what happened, but hope you're okay. I'm okay. It's just news that I heard that affects other people. But I don't know. I, it's just the person I am. Like, I find it heartbreaking I um, when bad things happen to people. So I'm okay. My family's okay. It's just news from the business side of the world that was really, really sad today. And um, I feel connected to everybody I deal with. So um, I just feel like it's, here's the biggest thing, just know this, have patience with what's going on post COVID. And we aren't even out of COVID times, right? But it's, this world is going to take years to recover. So um, any companies that are sh slow shipping, it's not like it was before. It's not like our Amazon, Amazon next day delivery the world has changed. So I would have to say when you don't get something in the mail or whatever, just know it's out of everybody's hands. There are so many delays, so many things missing, stuff stuck in containers on boats, containers that are missing. So a lot of craziness is going on there. And I know for me as a business, I'm just learning to pivot, right? Pivot, 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 just figure out how to move forward. So I just think that it's super important for us to um, give everybody some grace because uh, I think the world needs it. So just a little reminder, right? Kindness and love, throw it around like confetti. 100% Miss Patty, I agree with you, right? Hey, Keisha, how are you? Hi, Miriam. So um, my friends, tonight we're going to use, and I can't even find my open container, so I'm going to open a new package. But a lot of you might have this looking just like this and you haven't opened it. So I'm going to use this tonight. Do you have to use this? No. Grab Distress Ink, whatever you want to use. But I'm going to do a fun technique that we've done in the past where I'm going to put these down and then scrape it off. So it's almost like paper staining with these colors. I'm going to make a background. I'm going to make two backgrounds. This just came in the mail. And I don't, I don't even know if these are new, but they're new to me. And I have some stuff I'm going to be... Um, adding to the shop once I get a breather after this weekend. But this is one of the things. Oh my goodness, this, this moth study. So I decided this is what I want to use tonight. And some foundations paper, some stencils. And we're going to just make a quick card or you can use this for a background to make a layout. But um, we're going to do all of the things tonight. We're going to run through it pretty quickly. So I can, it literally, do you, do you have a studio or a workspace ever that is, you would call it like landmines? Do you have piles of things on the floor? That's what I'm living in right now. It's craft landmines all over because I need to clear my desk off to do lives. And I taught last weekend at uh, Crop and Create. And then I was getting ready for this weekend, writing instructions because the whole project had to be created. <laughs> So crazy and all the instructions written in a week and I'll give you a peek. I'll give you a peek. So this is my first project using my collection warm wishes. So I am in love with this collection. So this is what we're doing this weekend. I have a couple kits still left on vickybooten.com 
once they're gone, they're gone. This product is all sold out. I couldn't get more albums or anything. But um, just to give you, let's find a couple of my favorite. This, here's a favorite. Look how fun this is. So I'm going to cover my face, but look at, right, all the interactive bits. It's going to be super fun. Very excited. My first ever Christmas line with my name on it. And I'm excited to be creating with everybody tomorrow using this. Warm wishes. So like always, seriously, <laughs> let's talk about this. I was going to not make it very big. Uh, it is in your best interest to purchase another album and split this into two. You're going to end up making two Christmas albums by the time you're done. Because we haven't even put one photo in here yet. And the thing is bursting at the seams because I can't stop, won't stop. That's how I, I roll, right? So we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, if you did sign up for the class, either as access only or you purchased the kit, make sure you're ready for tomorrow that you've gone and joined the Facebook group. That you have, uh, like a lot of ladies said, the only thing most people print is the cutting diagram. You don't need anything else. I will guide you. I'm your crafting Yoda through the whole thing tomorrow. And it will be so, so, so much fun. And Mari and um, uh, Natalie and, uh, 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 oh my goodness. This is the problem. No sleep. And now you're going to, and Nicole, she's going to kick me in the face. Um, your design team boxes are going to go out on probably Tuesday. Monday, I'm going to take off, but I bought you gifts. I know, Nicole. Oh my goodness. And it was right there and I lost it. Um, your design team boxes are going to go out Monday. I have bought you gifts and fun things to put in there. And I will be packing everything I have from Fernwood and all of Warm Wishes. You're going to get big, huge boxes. I'll send you tracking. And uh, Mari, Nicole took care of you and got you a package of the thickers for me. Um, thicker gate, the ones that are missing. So very excited. I know. Oh, my goodness. Right. Forgive me, Nicole. It's not because I don't love you and I forgot one of my best friend's names. <laughs> it's just it's just who I am. Right. OK, so let's flip the camera around. Any questions or anything that you would like to bring to my attention before we get started? Your scrap room is a disaster, Irene. Sames. Sames, right? Um, I'm going to work on that. Yes, Fernwood. Can't wait to get it in my hands. So it's all laying out, being kitted right now for the Fernwood Lollapalooza, which is in the new year. So if you're looking for something for Christmas, uh, you can come and play at that weekend event. Like I did printables, and there's so much going on for this. If you really want to have a fun weekend, definitely look into it. it all the paper is laying out, and I have to say... I cannot wait to dig into that. That collection is near and dear to my heart. They all are. Every time that comes, it's like a baby, right? I have a lot of babies now. I'm Octo Mom. <laughs> but it's crazy, right? How much is access only and how do you do it? Uh, VickiBooten.com, 40 Canadian and uh, well beyond. When you get in there and see all of the things that you have access to, uh, you will be like, I've had people uh, message me and go, that's crazy like that you only charge 40 bucks for it but i want it to be affordable i'd love you to come and play so vickybooten.com fernwood i don't remember like january 22nd or something it's in january right so um yeah yeah well i i don't know i'll just keep talking when i go get on here my husband got me a vicky gift cert gift certificate for your anniversary i love that Serenity, I love that. And I'm glad your friend got her kit because uh, there was a little bit of, I had a little bit of an issue. So I'm really glad that it made it there, right? Um, those free printables and cut files are above and beyond my expectation. Yes. So uh, let me show you so you know what we're talking about. So in the, in the um, group for that, with the help of my designer at American Craft, she helped me with the base. And then I went in and hand wrote a whole bunch of titles. So those are in there in uh, the group. And then I printed them bigger. So we have two different sizes of them. But there's lots of lots of fun things, right? Lots of fun things. Uh, January is gel plate part two. No, uh, January is Fernwood. Fernwood weekend, uh, gel plate. I, I just need to get past this weekend and then I'm going to work on 
um, cleaning up the photography uh, online class so that I can put that up. So that's a before Christmas thing. If people are interested in that, because that was a good class. If you really want to touch up on your iPhone photography, um, it is a very fun, people loved that class. Like I got a lot of really good um, feedback on that one. And then the gel plate one class is available. Gel plate two will be in the new year, but I need to um, kind of put my uh, plan together for that and I'll get it posted before Christmas. But yes, talking about lots of things, right? To keep straight. So let's flip the camera around and let's make some art because look at 15 minutes or 15 minute intro not too bad right um so let me find where i'm going uh i'm sorry that you have a sick little boy um that is tough so um take care of your baby and i'm glad that you popped in and said hi as well the class tomorrow is 10 a.m eastern time um it will run for 85 hours <laughs> or until i'm finished so we will take some potty breaks and some snack breaks and a lunch break. And I figure I'll probably be there till five or six. That's usually how long that they um, go. So, and then on Sunday, if you're in the class, it's at 1030 to give you guys a little bit of a break and it will be very relaxed. We're doing uh, on Saturday, uh, the album. And on Sunday is the uh, four double page layouts. And then we have lots extra and there's going to be a bonus card class and a mixed media class that I haven't determined the days, but it'll be there. It, it might feel like that, Leanne, but it's good. I don't think, well, people will complain because they do already, but uh, in the end, you'll be super happy. But I'm going to make you work for it, right? I think everything that you have to work for is is worth it, right? I have my tea, my Hey Girl tea. I'm all ready to go. Let's make a little bit of magic. Pulling up my sleeve, sleeves that I laugh that Lail and I have the same sweater on today because that is funny. We do it all the time. Hi from Bolivia. Hello, how are you? Yay, lost time. It was 7 p.m., but it was fun. Um, we're taking Monday off. Yes, I'm taking Monday off 100%. And I think Natalie needs to too with all of the help that she's been doing and hard work uh, on the group page. Certainly appreciate you, Natalie, my friend. But I don't think I'm getting out of bed on Monday, I decided. <laughs> Just to drive Devin to school. Question, how long is Sunday's class? Um, I that Those ones are, I don't know, usually done around two because it's going to be very relaxed. I'm not going to rush you guys through it. But like I said, all of the classes are recorded, even though I'm teaching them live. So you can stay as long as you can ha handle it or hang out. But we're going to do the paper cutting and then building the layouts. It won't be bad. I bet you that one is three or four hours with, and then a break in there. Won't be bad at all. Won't be bad at all. Hi, Paula. How are you? Uh, wardrobe vomit. Oh, what is ward, wardrobe vomit? <laughs> Not sure what that is, Deborah. Um, yeah, um, I don't have those paste. Can you make your own with pigment powder? Sure you can with uh, something similar. If you use like a multi-medium, they'll be more transparent. If you use a gesso, it will be a little chalkier. Uh, you could make them with distress ink. You could make them with oxides. So if you stamp it down on your craft mat and then blend, a, uh, you'd need a texture paste, blend it in, you could make something similar, right? So it'll be very, very fun. Do do. Hello from Australia. You're having a family fun day tomorrow, Laura. That's awesome. Yeah, Natalie is is a crazy busy woman. She definitely has her uh, all of her um, craziness together, and she helps me get my craziness together. Okay, so to start, I have the Vicky Booten stencils. Right, these are the ones that a lot of you have purchased. I know for some of my friends that there's ladies in Sweden and all over that I've said yes, I will ship them. I will get on that now. Uh, you'll be expecting emails once I can follow up after the craziness that has been my life. But I grabbed these ones that I'm going to use. You can use whatever you want, okay? But I just grabbed them because tonight is impromptu. I was just trying to throw stuff together after making um, some soup. So I have food for tomorrow. 
and uh, just trying to get my stuff together. You ever have those days? It's craziness around here. Hi, Stacy. How are you? You got your coffee going. So excited for tomorrow's class. Same. Ditto. I will search for stamps. Love your backgrounds for mixed media. Thank you very much. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make two or three colors of background. And then I'm going to stamp on them. I'm going to cut fussy cut, or as I call it, um, fussy cuss, because that's what most people do when I make them do it. They start cussing. You're finally with your family after lockdown. I love that, Poppy, for you guys in Australia. Okay, so these are, we've had a number of texture paste. Uh, this set is the one that came out with um, Color Study, and it's neon, and they're a lot of fun. Like, this pink is everything. They are um, all have names that are kind of food-related, but this one is called Watermelon Sour, and I love it. The color is so vibrant. It, like, vibrates. I love it. So I'm just going to. They're very um, heavy body, and they have an amazing ability to be used as a texture paste or as a watered down paint medium, right? You love fussy cussing uh, uh, or you, yes, fussy cussing, right? I have chicken chili in the crock pot for tomorrow. I love that. Um, yeah, I made um, rotisserie chicken and I eat like, uh, I'm doing this Gina Livy program. So I was sharing with my friend Patty today that I bought a rotisserie chicken and I take, there's these corn crackers that I absolutely love and uh, like they're corn and chia seed. And I put avocado on it, squeezed a lime on top of it, then some uh, chicken breast and then some diced tomatoes, cilantro, salt, the best food. I call it fake tacos. They are so, so good. You love fussy cussing? Me too. If anybody follows me, I love my fussy cussing. So funny. So funny. So here we go. I'm going to take two backgrounds and we're going to do this fun technique that we are going to, I have two going. I'm going to kind of work on two things at the same time because we can do stencil stamping and a background and then we can do the dye base one where we put the medium down but then we literally wet it and pull it all off and what you have is just the memory or stain on the paper of that background um on here christina definitely catch it whenever you can right is janice here hello my friend janice emailed me and i was like sorry friend i will email you in a bit I have zero ability to wrap my head, head around the question she was asking. So I saw it, Janice, after this weekend, by Tuesday, I will be all available for everybody. But right now, I have nothing left in my brain. My brain is fried. So let's do the kissing technique. And look at tonight, I'm just, I have a piece of plastic here. That's what I'm gonna use. And I'm going to quickly put some of the yellow down because I want a base and then where we can put color on top of it, right? Is Janice here? I don't see her. Are you making that up, Patty? Hi, Yvonne. How are you? So we are going to do background and a card. Like I'm going to be so organized tonight that we're going to actually make something. I'm going to just take what's left on my lid and look what I'm doing, okay? And that one is lemon sour. And I'm going to add some water and a paintbrush. And I'm just going to kind of blend this to put this kind of yellow background down. Okay. Now, because it's thick, because it's a texture paste, make sure you get enough moisture on here. Otherwise, your, your um, material is not going to move around. You want this to be fairly wet. Okay. So to start, I'm going to just deposit some of that, oh, bright, awesome yellow down on my background. And I'm going to kiss it like it's the rock, not like it's my grandma tonight. Okay, so there we go. A little color on the background. Um, and you know what, tonight, I don't even care. Well, maybe I better set it. 
I was going to say, let's just go crazy, but who am I kidding? I can't do it. So I'm getting my heat gun and I'm going to just dry it out a little bit, take some moisture out. And then we're going to do the other step. And then from that step, while the stencil is dirty, we're going to transfer it to the other side and do another step. Okay. So get ready for it. I just threw my um, die cutting machine on the ground. So let's see if I trip over it or not. Question, if you put texture paste on top of other texture paste, will it mix on its own? Or do you have to work it? Um, I'm trying to understand, is this while it's wet? I just need some more help with that, Christina, and I will happily answer it. I am not sure if you mean wet on wet, layered. If it's dry, it won't mix. If you are layering two colors together to make a new color, you would have to um, physically mix it, right? What is the question from Sonia? Because I just emailed you before, if it's the Sonia, I think it is, right before I got on here but I'm not sure if that's who. That's exciting against Canada. I wonder if your national um, soccer team will beat Canada. I don't know. What is our soccer team like? Are they good? I don't know. Are Canadians good soccer players? Tell me, friends. I like the dramatics of soccer. <laughs> and I love, what is that show? Um with the soccer team in England, that's out. Ted Lasso. I have a new love for soccer just from watching that show, but I would disappoint you. I'm not. My countrymen are in your country at this moment. Whereabouts in Canada? Where is soccer happening in Canada? Is it in BC? Is it in Ontario? Oh, Ted Lasso is so good. I absolutely adore that show. I'll have to work with that later. I'm having trouble. I believe they won a medal in the Olympics. Wow. That's impressive. Isn't that disgusting that I have absolutely no clue if they're good or not? Um, yes. Aren't the women the best? Yes. I believe our, our, uh, women, our women's hockey team is really good, isn't it? So I'm going to go in here now. I don't, I'm going to check. I'm not sure if that's stained or dirty. So let's just confirm so I don't put color on there that I didn't want. So let's just give it a quick wipe and see, stained or dirty, Vicki? I think it was just stained because that pigment is not coming off. So here's what's going to happen. You ready? I am going to put this down offset on that yellow. So I have two options if I want to use it full green on the background or layered on the yellow. And I'm going to use my palette knife or my art wedge, and I'm just going to pull the color through. All right. And then I'm going to put a ton of water on it and I'm going to drag it all off. Isn't that crazy? But while that's working, because I'm working two sheets at a time, we're going to do stencil stamping. So I'm also going to take the dirty stencil, flip it and put it over here. OK, so get yourself set up. So or if when you're ready to do this, you're going to be working two canvases at the same time. OK, so I am going to go in here. You would know about the soccer's too, Natalie, right? Because your kids are into that. Do you watch it too? Um, I know. I'm a disappointment. I don't know the sports. Just hockey. And then not even enough. <laughs> not even enough. I'm a disappointment. So I'm going to take my green, which is the Kiwi Sour, and I'm going to pull it through my stencil. Okay. So pulling it through the stencil. Okay. And then, oops, I'm going to take it. I might put a little bit more down. And everything that's left on my stencil. So I can let this sit for a second, right? I can let that sit for a second. So let's take this stencil and mist it. I'm doing it off screen with lots of water. Okay, lots and lots of water. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to kiss it. I might even put, a, no, I'm not going to. So I'm going to put this down now. Okay, 
stencil stamping, I have a paper towel, and I'm just gonna press that in quickly. You have to move though a little faster than we would with other mediums because, oh, look at, look at Irene. And now I'm gonna take the blue because I know the green and blue will make a pretty new color. And I'm gonna pull some of that through with clean off your palette knife. I don't normally like to waste, but we will waste tonight. Hello, Kim. Sip, sip. I'm very, very unhappy with you that you're not going to be with me tomorrow. You are a highlight of those classes. So I know it's your anniversary and you have to spend time with your husband, but I have to say you let him know that I am very sad that I won't get my Kim sip, sip. You are a highlight. You all are, but. Okay. Can we do something crazy? Maybe we'll see. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Cause I don't want to waste this now. Right now. See how that kind of, because it's thicker medium, I don't want that to just sit like that. So I might do something here. Let's try it. Cause tonight is the night that Vicki will just play and we'll see what happens. So let's just play and see what happens here. So I'm gonna drag all of this off now and just see what we get. You ready for it? Taking this, you could take an old bank card or something and let's see what we get. Oh, I love it. And then I'm gonna take that green and run it back through. And totally digging that. Background there. So let's do the same now with this one, because sometimes I just want it to be nice and subtle, right? And I'm going to wet it. That sat a little longer. So let's see what kind of effect we get. And I will leave some of it a little bit on there. Love that. So now it's no longer texture paste. It is like a stained background. So I'm digging this. This is going to be my card background. Totally loving that. So we will let that dry. I'm letting that yellow just kind of bleed in there a bit. But oh, I love this, right? Very fun. So it is like um, neon. But now when you pull that color, I don't know, it's super fun. It's no longer texture paste, right? So let me grab another sheet of foundations. I'm moving this and let's see what else we can do. So we still have this business. And one thing I wanna do is I'm gonna put tons of water down here and tons on here. I would like to get this medium to move as much as I can because it's so thick. I'm blending that out a little with my finger, okay? Just getting it to move around, okay? And then I will put another blast of water. We want this really wet because it's a texture paste and we don't add the water. It won't move like a watercolor. And what I want it to do is kind of move like a watercolor, okay? So look it, and I'm gonna give a little shimmy. Oh, loving this already. Oh my goodness, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull some of this green that's on here into that. Can I show you something else that I'm gonna do? So this is just some cardstock. It's nothing fancy, but it's what I have on hand. Guess what I'm gonna do? Instead of putting a piece of paper towel on here, I'm gonna take another cardstock and I'm gonna rub that on here for a second. So now, instead of this going on paper towel, whatever I end up picking up is going to make another background. Make another background. And it's very wet, so I'm just doing this a little bit with my paper towel. Okay, let's see what we get. So it's very subtle, but when this dries, we're gonna have something fun. And I'm gonna go in one more time because that was so wet and let's see what we get on a second pass. Oh, very fun. 
So I'll set those aside. Doop, doop. Actually, guess what? They're going on the floor of landmines. I just threw those on the floor. I'm going to put pink through this because we can. I don't want much. I really want to drag it. Like I'm going to really drag the pink. I might even go in. I'm, I'm going to get crazy. Watch what I'm going to do. I don't know how clean my stencil brush is. I don't know if this is clean or not. Let's see. Let's see. Is it clean? No, it's not. There is some green in here. Let's just get that off. And now guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in there with the stencil brush a little bit. And because I'm crazy, let's add a little bit of water to that too. Oh my goodness. I hope this is fun and not vomit. We'll see. I'm going to pick some of that moisture up because I'm afraid to lift it when it's really wet. Oops. And let's see. Oop. So a fun pink one going on. Let's just lift it. Let's just give her. Oh, I cannot wait till that dries. And you know, this could just keep going, right? Could just keep going. Hi. You having your pregame show? My pregame show, honey. That was Rich coming to see what we were up to. Like he does, right? Like he does. What are we getting? Anything? Don't forget, I still have butterflies that I need to stamp. So I'm okay if some of this just has a hint of color on it. Because I could stamp my butterflies on any of that, right? Okay, leave that on the floor, but I also would like to do something with the pink that is kind of painterly. Look at that. Just sometimes be aware, like look at what's happening and maybe sometimes you help it along a little bit. And I'm liking when the pink is blending into that a bit. Like, does this, do you see it? It almost makes your eyes vibrate. This pink is so bright. Vicki Booten, I should start using my stuff. It's probably a good idea, Kim. Not just be a collector of fine craft product, right? When you purchase it, my intention is that you actually use it. It's like Plinko. Like that pink is running through and around all of those. And I'm totally digging the color that's going on there. So now leave it alone and we'll let it dry. And I will give it a blast with my heat gun in a second. I'm running out of real estate. Okay. So I want something that's just pink. So let's just do a quick kissed pink background so that I can stamp my butterflies, maybe pink and purple. Cause you guys, I know get mad when I don't use very much purple. So I'll just throw a little pink down here and I'm just gonna kiss it to my background so I can stamp some of these Tim butterflies or moths because it's called moth study. Okay, keep my brush loaded because then I can put some tappy taps on here too and then just kiss it. So we have somewhere for some of the butterflies and then I will do some purple as well. Love it. Let that run around. Little tappy taps. I love this stuff. I'm telling you, because I know with some of you in the texture pace, you're like, I don't know. This makes me nervous. I don't know if I would use it. 
But seriously, look at those water and how it reacts and pushes the medium out. I love it. Okay, so let's do a little purple. Clean up a little bit. Because I will stick something in that inadvertently. How we doing out there? Do we have any questions? Is anybody playing along tonight? Are some of you just resting, watching, watching sports at the same time? Or TV? I'm going to wipe up this pink and I'm going to do some with the purple. I don't even care if it's super clean because pink and purple will still make a pretty new color. And all I'm using is what was on that little thing. And get rid of it so I don't stick my arm in it. Natalie was taking a small nap. You're crazy. No time for sleep. I'm going to lift some of that off because there's too much pigment there. Trash can. Tap some of that purple in here too. And even into my pink. Okay, and let's kiss the purple down. Ooh, almost threw that on my pants. I laughed Riley today. Kim's home from the gym and he's like, I like your pants. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, Riley. I'm like, you know, what makes them special? He's like, I like the color of those jeans. They're very nice. I'm like, well, thank you. I'm glad that you approve and that your mother can dress herself in the morning. It was very sweet. He is a very sweet kid. Okay, so now dry, dry, dry. Let's put some in there, but I think it's already set. Okay, just be done. Be done, because we need to make a card now. Clean up your mess that you made, Vicki Booten. Um, clean my stencil a little bit like you do and my stencil brush because we don't leave the mediums on these things because I am of the school of clean it while it's wet so you don't have to do a lot of uh, hard work right all the mediums just come off if you just give it a little wipe on your paper towel very good and then wipe this up. I know I am a, a weirdo because most people that do mixed media do not clean their stencils or any of their things, but I am not that person. I like to tidy up as I go and I move my garbage bag and now it's throwing me off, right? I keep going to throw it beside me and there's no garbage bag there. So I'm like, um, throw it on the floor. Wipe off my art wedge. Okay. Because the messy stuff, for the most part, is done. We're just going to dry what we have. And we can make our card base and stamp and cut out some of the moths. Moths is us. You're of the school of clean up. Me too, Melanie. I can't not. I let the stencils be grungy if it's water-based ink, but not paste. Yes, I, ink doesn't matter because that would wash off. So I would agree. If they had distress ink on them or whatever, totally fine with that. But if it has any kind of medium, and my whole, I'm of the school of, if you don't clean it off, what ends up happening is that you um, change the pattern of the stencils, right? Because that medium sits in there and you don't have the crispness of the pattern. So each to their own, but I definitely clean my stencils, stamps. So what do you guys think? Should I grab my mink and run this through or I don't care. 
we're just gonna do it. This is very impromptu tonight. Do you see how it is very fun? If you could see the texture that this created when it wicked out is very fun, very fun. I don't know if it shows up, but I like it. Okay, there we go. That gets thrown on the floor. Oh my goodness, I'm seriously going to start to twitch. I have to, when I'm done here tonight, clean up because I can't function. I'm not going to lie. I am not judging anybody else who um, has a messy craft room and they can function just fine in it. I just look at it and go, oh my goodness, Vicki, the world is blowing up around you with your craft landmines. Pink and purple is beautiful. Um, yeah, I like it too, Irene. I agree. It looks really pretty. Plus, you end up transferring color you don't want if you don't clean them. Yeah, true facts, right? This one turned out, look at that pink and blue together. Like, I am digging this background very much so. I'm not using this one tonight. I'm drying it, though, but I'm going to save this for maybe next week because I don't want to put the pink on top of the pink, okay? But um, I'm just taking some of the moisture out, not baking it like a cookie. But I absolutely love that. And it looks like there's texture, but there really isn't. It is very fun. It looks like if you ran your hand over it, that you'd feel it, but you won't. And I'm loving that. So let's set that one aside. And this is the one we decided, I think, right, that we're going to use. So just taking up that extra green and let's bake it a little bit. Hi, Don. How are you? You're actually more creative in a mess. I am not. Like a lot of things we talk about that Don and I, like I'm like, oh, she's my soul sister. That. I would say we, I'm not, it's, it's a very big mess in here right now. And I would say I'm actually the opposite that when there's mess around me, um, I feel like my brain is cluttered too. So I often work in a mess because, out of necessity because I don't have time to clean it up. But now that I'm on the other side of a huge workload, I cannot wait to clean up my workspace. Like, I am so looking forward to that. You're twitching with the lid because is isn't on the blue paste. I'll put it away because I will um, put the lids on all these. Now, you know what's going to end up happening. Remember I said, do I need to get the mink and flatten this? I have to flatten it because this is going to be the base of my card and I'm not going to be able to do that. But you know what I mean? It's one of those things like with the, if you are a messy crafter, a clean crafter, I certainly don't sit in judgment because I don't, whatever works for you, right? If I come over and craft with you, I might clean my space up before I start working in it. So <laughs> you might be judging me, but I don't, I am so one of those ones, like I totally um, am the most accepting, like you do you. I totally like, like we'll rock with that. Uh, but I am like, I know I don't fit the mold for, um, mixed media artists normally love like you'll look at their tools are all covered in paint and stuff and maybe i i'm not even allowed to be part of the club because i'm not like that at all but right i love that because then it shows you that all of us can fit into this community right i'm going to bed somebody just said uh see you in the morning vicky see you in the morning pamela um, I might wash your dishes or clean a sink. Uh, it's, it's true facts, Patty. Does that make us bad though? I bet it does. I bet it makes our friends feel bad or family members. It's probably not. It has nothing to do with them and everything to do with us, right? Just a second, grabbing my mink. Um, I'm the weirdo, not anybody else. I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. And right now I, I've had to, um, I'm just grabbing my thing here, friends. So right now, because it's probably, I, I know, I just dis discovered, I just decided what it is. It is control. 
I have control issues. So I probably, the situation is when it is messy, I feel like I don't have control. Does that make sense? I totally know that's what it is. So um, I like to feel like I can control something. So that is probably what my whole issue is. If we're going to get like Freudian about it, right? My house is clean, but my craft room is another story. And I'll tell you right now, Don, nothing is tidy in my house. Everything right now is a total freaking disaster because I haven't been able to focus on any of it. So I am super excited that next week, that's what I said to my kids. Guess what? I'm cleaning next week and um, Christmas is going up. And they're like, oh, okay. Like, no, but they don't care. But I was very excited to clean and put Christmas up. Me too. When I was dating my hubby, his mom would come home and she knew I was there because her kitchen would be clean. Well, I would probably super appreciate that. Um, Irene, Vicki, can you use parchment? Sorry, it went away. Parchment paper on top and then a warm iron to flatten the paper. You can, you just have to make sure you're flattening it on a hard surface and you have to make sure that your iron isn't going to ruin that surface. So maybe if you got to like a big wood cut board, cutting board, you know, those big wooden cutting boards, you could probably sandwich your project between parchment and maybe iron on that or, um, but it's the pressure. It's not just the heat. It's the pressure, right? So I can't wait, though, to be honest with you, uh, to clean my house. And that's probably craziness, but, well, not really. Rich was vacuuming tonight, and I'm like, can you do this, and can you vacuum that, too? <laughs> He's probably like, whatever, lady. You should just, oops, I switched it. You should just be happy that I'm doing any of it. And I'm like, I'm happy you are. And it makes me mad that I can't, right? Plus, oddly, I love doing dishes and cleaning sinks. And please let me fold your laundry, please. <gasps> Patty, you totally could because that's the one thing I hate. I, I don't mind doing laundry. I hate folding laundry, especially sorting socks. Like, hate that. I hate laundry. That's the one thing. I love ironing, but I hate doing laundry. I'd like to make a living ironing pillowcases and vintage tea towels. Is that a thing? I love it. We've been renovating, so things are not, oh, yes, all done yet. And it's hard to live in renovations, isn't it? My house is always in an uproar with five little daycare kiddos for 10 hours a day. 100%. That's got to be crazy, Karen, because you must just pass out at night. Socks suck. I hate laundry. Ditto, Keisha. Uh, I, hate, I hate sorting socks. And my kids, the other thing I hate, that uh, their socks are all inside out. And I'm like, take your socks off right and put them right side. Because I'm going to start throwing them away and you will have no socks. Because the one thing I hate is having to turn your dirty socks right side out so I can wash them. Because I'm going to say, the more the dirt is on the outside. Um, you have 50 kids on a bus. Oh my goodness. So see, this is why I put it through the mink. Do you see the magic that is the mink? So the heat and the pressure flatten out your mixed media. The only reason I could do this too is because I took the texture off of it. You couldn't do this with texture paste on because you would melt it, right? You would melt it. So let's try it now with this one. So yes, it's only because I watered down the texture paste. I would not be putting any kind of textural paste through this because you would heat it and it would glue it to the sleeve I'm putting it through. However, you put your clothes in the hamper is how they go in the wash. And we get back to this, Don, is I have control. <laughs> I'm, I'm very crazy with that. But I have to say Rich does most of the laundry, so it's fine. Um, Dandy, you don't even want to go there. Okay. I can complain about my kids, but the biggest complaint should be myself and Rich. We don't make them do anything. We don't. And I was raised, my mother will be out there and I didn't do anything. 
either. She did everything for me. So I have to say I turned out okay and I'm hoping for the best with my children, right? Um, I'm hoping it's the best for my children that when they live in a hotel, that's what I said, say I live in a hotel. Laura hates cleaning the bathroom. Guess what, Laura? I love cleaning the bathroom because I love that feeling of a clean toilet and clean. I get in there with the toothbrush. So here's, let's ask a weird question for tonight. When you clean the toilet, do you use a toilet brush or does your hand go in the bowl? I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. So see, look at that, friends. That is magic. So I had put, look at what transferred on there. I need to buy a new sheet. But uh, yeah, isn't that awesome? So I, we had chores. You use a toilet brush, Kari. I use a hand. My hand goes right in there. I wash them after, but yes. Oh, hell no, toilet brush. So will you guys still be my friend? Because now I just gross you all out. But yeah, I do. I get right in there, man, and clean it. We never use toilet brushes. Just clean that baby. Look at most of you guys. Nobody. Am I the only one? I hate touching toilets. I get right in there. How do you go from mixed media to toilets? Did you just wake up, Natalie? Were you not following along with the conversation? Try some nail polish remover. Yes, on the plastic sheet. Thank you. Um, I tried uh, hand sanitizer and it didn't come off. I used disposable gloves for the toilet. I'll be your friend, but I won't shake your hand. You won't eat like uh, chips from my fingers, Keisha. Don't worry, I wash them. That is so fun my hand to and sponge so there's some of you guys right i can't i just don't feel like the toilet brush gets in there i gotta get into every nook and cranny i do i stick my but i have tons of cleaner in there right it's not i don't just put it in there and then go and make your lunch but isn't that funny so keisha now you've wrecked my dreams of feeding each other cheesies the next time we see each other hey hey i just ate <laughs> I love it. I wax my shower mirrors a couple times a year. It helps to clean them easier. That's a great idea. I love it. Hands go in. It's the only way to get under the lip. Yes, I got to get right in, you know, like all those little notches where the water comes out. I've got to get in there and clean that. Now, my fingers don't go in there. I take the cloth, but I need to clean all of that. And I need to get right down in. Like this is like clean, like all of it. So just so you know that about me, I might eat Doritos from your hand and I'll wash them first. You can say, Hey, Vicki, was this toilet washing day? And then you can make that decision. If you want to actually eat Doritos when I feed them to you, toothbrush cleans those areas. Yeah, that too. Just make sure that nobody brushes their teeth with it after because that could happen that you put it in a special spot. I'm going to, I'm just doing it with all of these. Okay. So I have options. So I'm just putting them through friends. So just give me a minute. I know this is literally like watching paint dry. This seems like a good time to say, clean your dishwater fil dishwasher filter. Where is that Patty? Where's the dishwasher filter? Look at, obviously I haven't cleaned it. I didn't even know that was a thing. Vicki, you need a toilet seat that pops off. Oh my goodness, that's a great idea. You know they have brushes with different sizes and angles. I don't, Don, because I have a hand, an arm with different angles. <laughs> I did not know there was a filter in my dishwasher. So now I'm afraid to look at it. And don't forget, I used to work in the dental field. So this is the girl who, you know, when you go in there and they use the suction, well, somebody has to clean that out. So that's probably why I am not in any way bothered by a toilet because I have cleaned out suctions. And then we used to call the one that the, the main one that would go where the compressor was, it was called Big Ben. And we'd all fight over who had to clean Big Ben. Yes, totally yuck. So I'm just saying, unless you have done that, like cleaning a toilet is not anything comparatively to that. 
And this is why I think with being like a plumber, I think I would have to pick electrician or something first. If I had to be a plumber, I'm going to put these through together. Let's see what happens just because, just because um, that I wouldn't want to have to deal with that stuff. So I think that plumbers deserve to make all of the dollars that they do to have to deal with that grossness, right? Sip. <laughs> I love it. Am I grossing you out? Anne? I'm sorry. I cave. It's all yours. Well, you know, but you don't, if you're new, if you were the new one, man, uh, you don't get to cave. You have to do it. So I guess that just made me tougher. I can deal with all of the things, right? I did daycare, two-year-olds. They were gross. Yeah. Right? And all you have to do is be a parent, man. All the things that we've dealt with. I, we were talking the other day about when Riley was little and if he got sick, that kid got sick. Like there was no, like if he got the flu, he would run a super high fever. Like he'd get really, really sick. Thank goodness it didn't help it happen all that much. But I remember sitting in the urgent care and Riley was on my lap with his head on my chest and he got sick all over the front of me and in my lap. But the one thing I can say is we laughed. We were the first ones that got to go. Then everybody went, you can go first. And we were the first ones to get to see the doctor. But I laugh, like being a mom, man, we deal with that kind of stuff all the time. Or a pet owner, right? Any littles. Okay, yay, that worked really well. Do you see what I'm saying? Now this paper is a lot thinner. So you take it off and you kind of have to lay it somewhere flat because it could go through a couple of times because it will still buckle. So I'm just going to take it and put something heavy on top of it. And now it's all ready to go. I love it. And we don't, oh, should I do this one? I'm going to, because I really want you guys to see what this is going to look like when it is ready. Because I love this. I love this one. Being a mom and a dog mom can be gross, right? I can relate. Moms are number one. Uh, yeah, picking up dog doo-doo is no bueno and you have big dog yeah yeah i have both kids and a pet the dog is uh somehow better than the kids at times i believe that and your dog is just a cute little bulldog right is it a french bulldog net it works well vicky good vibes i know i if you guys now have all changed your opinion of me when I told you that I go in hands first in that toilet. Dawn, who was like, yeah, I can't wait to hang out with Vicky. We're best buds. And now she's totally rethinking that relationship. Oh, yeah, that's not fun. You have a Boston Terrier. Is that what it is? I thought it was a bulldog. I have neither. And I will not pick up anything that steams. <laughs> I love it, Nat, uh, uh, Patty. Yeah, I have children. That's when people will say, do you have pets? And I'm like, no, I have children and a husband. Nope, I still love you. I love you too, Don. I cannot wait to get together. I cannot wait for that to actually happen for real. So, oh my goodness. Do you see this now, friends? So when you look at this, you think there's, does it, well, maybe you don't think, tell me. Do you think it looks like it's textural? Like, doesn't it look 3D and it's totally flat? I love this. And we're going to do something with this next week. But um, look at just that was fun, right? So you could try this with paint too. Like if you have a heavier body paint, try it and see if you can do the drag stain technique. I'm very curious. I would love to know that. Um, Totally, totally textural, right? I love it. And I don't know if it's just the color um, makes it look like it's vibrating. And all your nasty cleaning ways. I love it. Next time we clean the toilet, we will think of Vicky. Get those hands in there, man. You get in there, man. You do the job. Plenty of bleach in the toilet brush. That's enough for me. <laughs> I know. And now you have changed your opinion of me. You're like, I liked Vicky, but now every time I see her hands in these videos, that's all I'm gonna be able to think about. I'm just putting them in, down in front of the fridge because it's a new landmine. 
But before I go to bed tonight, I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Okay, friends. So here is my question. Should we do a slim line? Because it seems to be Vicky's favorite thing to do, our slim line cards. Or should I switch it up and do something else? We will start by... Now, the one thing that I notice... I'll, oh, I, maybe I'll do this one. A lot of Tim's stamps aren't for coloring. Like, I think they stamp beautifully. It, I love this set of stamps, by the way. Like, I absolutely love this. But I have a thing for moths. Moths. Uh, your hands are way too talented to be sticking them in toilet bowls. Well, all I have to say, Don, is that's the next thing I need to do, is I would like to get a cleaning lady. Right? A square card, I could. So let's get some of the stuff started. So I'm going to pick out ones that the color will show through. Should I just stamp in black? Because I could stamp and we could do tone on tone. Should I could grab a pink ink and I could stamp these in a darker pink. Or I'm kind of digging the black, don't you think? Natalie, you just stay in your lane. If I want to fussy cut, I'm going to fussy cut. I don't have dyes for these, though, and I'm not going to do too many. But let's look. Let's test and do one in black, and let's take a look. Gray could be pretty. Let's see, Judy, what I have. I think I have a, um archival in gray. I don't know if I can find it right now because I know I have one. I just don't know where I put it. Oh, look. This could work. Just a sec. Can't get it out. Just a second. I have a Gina K. Amalgam ink in what color is this? Whisper. Whisper. So let's try both black and let's try the gray. We will see. Okay, we can try it, right? It won't hurt. It won't hurt. So let's go try this guy. Oh my goodness, I love this stamp set so much. So that's black. You can see a little bit of the pink through it. I do like it. I need one of those chamois cloths, whatever. I need to do, that'll be one of my things. Like, I bet you, do you think there'll be some good sales on with stamp companies and stuff for Black Friday? Where I could uh, go and buy myself some things? Because uh, maybe Simon Says Stamps will have a sale or something. Because I do, I need, you know, when it, I need to, it's a literally a whisper of color. So do you think it's not going to show? It's not really gray. Is it more of a beige? Let's see. We will try it and maybe it's not going to be enough. I like it. What do you guys think? It's not as crisp though, is it? So I don't know. I like the detail of the black. I'm going to go with the black. You guys can use whatever you want. But for time's sake, I'm just going to go with the black. And I'm going to try this one too. Why do I always say butterflies are guys? You ever notice that? It's weird. Vicky's a weirdo. But we all knew that already, didn't we? I can pick my favorites. I might pick one more pattern off of here. Totally love these stamps, Mr. Holtz. Like, love them. And I, I wonder if there's dyes to go with this. Somebody will have to look that up for me. 
no, Vicky is not a weirdo. I am though, right? Oh, that is the black on the stamp. But yes, on my stamp pad, you notice that? I was trying to put it away before anybody noticed that I didn't clean it off very well. Oh, I see. Should it be lighter? Whatever. Who knows what this chicky is doing? Ah, oh, I love that butterfly moth. <laughs> I love that butterfly moth. Okay. Let's do another one of this guy. Digging it, digging it. Natalie's favorite, I'm gonna cut some out, but let's do our base first. Almost invisible. Oh yes, it, didn't I buy that? What is that one for, for coloring? But I don't, do you think it's the black on my ink? I did get it on the stamp pad, you can see it on there. So maybe that's why it showed up like that, Don. Yes, because the stamp's dirty. I understand what you're saying. Because isn't that for no line coloring? Is that when everybody uses Whisper? Right? Isn't that when everybody uses Whisper for that no line card making thing? So what did we decide? Um, what kind of uh, card are we making tonight? Help me right now because I will cut it out. Did we decide? Like, of course, you know I want to do another slim line because I think that that would be perfect. All right. So, but I don't, again, I don't remember the size. Somebody's going to have to tell me. What's a mini slim line? I'm not even aware. So remind me again, what is, this is going to be a mat. I'm going to mat it on something. So tell me again, what is a slim line size? Three and a half or by something? Oh my goodness. I need to write it down because that's terrible that I can never remember. But I need the slim line size again. Because then I'm going to do my mat is going to be slightly smaller. But tell me what the size of a slim line card is again. Thank you. Three and a half by eight and a half. I never, ever, ever can remember that. So I'm going to do this. What do you think? Three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Would that be right? Oh my goodness. My brain is just far too tired for most of anything in life right now. We'll just cut that. Three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And hello, my card makers who are out there. I'm trying to make you proud of me that I can make the cards because um, I never thought I was very good at it and I'm totally digging it now. So I'm going to have to make a base. I won't finish the card right now, but let's cut out some of this stuff and we can get it started because I think that it's going to be fun. So I want this guy here. I do wish, it, did we decide if there are dies with this stamp set? It can be whatever I want it to be. Yes, I know. Oh, by eight. Is it by eight? Did I make it too long? <laughs> I'm just going to make a card and then I'll have to make the envelope to put it in because I'm just... I don't know anything. Oh my goodness. I try to come on here and impress you guys and I'm not very good at it, am I? So thank you for sticking around for the Vicky show where she doesn't do anything very well. <laughs> That's all good. But yes, I am a lover of the dyes. I am going to, I have a whole bunch in my cart at scrapbook.com. But um, there's no dice for the stamp set. I wonder why. Why do you think that um, there aren't a bunch of dice for these? Because I have to say that um, I would buy them. 
I would buy them because I would love to be able to cut these all out. Here's, it's not that I even have an issue with the fussy cutting, but the reason I love dies is that I love the crispness of uh, cutting your stamps out with a die. Do you, do you guys agree? Too many images, but I pay the $40 or whatever for them. You know what I mean, Ange? Because uh, expensive, yeah. Tim said sales were low. I agree with that. I get that. I understand. There's got to be a reason for it. But you know what I'm saying? I just love the crispness and that kind of rounded edge of a die. But that makes sense. And I don't think Tim will make them just for me. Right? And so I'll try not to ask because I don't want him to get mad. No, Vicky, crazy lady. You can't have dies for the moth stamps. Um, moths. But I'm going to cut them out. I'm not going to be super um, surgeon fussy cusser. I'm just going to get them out. But look at, I'm loving this for a quick card with a fun mixed media technique. Because my friends, what we're doing here tonight, you can use on anything, right? You do not have to put it on a, a card background. You could do it on whatever you want. This could be on a tag. This could be uh, embellishments. You could make it for a layout. But um, does anybody out there have this stamp set? I don't even know. Is it new or or just new to me? I don't know. I ordered it when I put my Ranger order in. I ordered it on there because I was like, oh my goodness, I'm in love with the stamp set. I, I do have the dies. I think I've bought them twice for Tim's butterflies, right? I prefer stamps, but I can see where the type of die would matter, making us like them better. Yeah. Yes, I have this one and I love it. Me too. No, it's not new. It's not new. I was super, uh, the Halloween release, right? Yes. Um, I bought a whole bunch of Halloween, which just came because I think a lot of you will realize that a lot of it was back ordered, right? So I bought a whole bunch of stuff because I would like to do a really fun fall and Halloween project. And I might even do that in December when we're doing our Christmas stuff. So just get ready for it because once this is done, the work that I have is done, um, it's going to be full on crafting. There's going to be so much going on um, on our Friday Night Live. So if there's something you'd love to see me create or that you would like us to do together, let me know because I'm going to be planning for December. Because you remember last year that we did the um, wreath? We did the paper wreath. We did, oh my goodness, do you remember with the houses? And then we used the silver glaze to do the hammered metal. I think that silver glaze and hammered metal technique is going to make a comeback. And we're going to do something fun. But if you want altered art, if you want to make like holiday uh, decor items, I would really love to hear. DIY mini album, cards, tags. We are going to be doing a whole like Christmas extravaganza of crafting because I am super excited because it's the time of year I get to craft literally just for me, just for me, stuff that I want to do. Please use the Village Collection dies. I just bought them and need your inspo. Don, which ones are they? I bought the one set, the smaller one. I did not buy the big, huge set, the bigger set. Do I need it? I didn't buy it. Um, silver glaze hammered metal is on my re, um, your rewatch list. Yes. We're going to do it again. Cause that is a really, really, really fun technique. Please. Oh, us. I saw that already, but yes, I, um, did not buy the big set. I'm confused too, because I was so busy. I didn't get to watch all of the things. How many new house dies did Tim come out with? I bought the um, poinsettia looking one. So we'll do something with that. I bought a whole bunch of his like um, ephemera and all of that with the Christmas stuff. So I would like to do uh, very fun 
kind of tag book style mini book, Christmas mini book, where I use Warm Wishes and Tim. So it'll be like uh, Ken and Barbie do Christmas. <laughs> so I would like to, I'd like to incorporate other um, manufacturers stuff with Warm Wishes or with my brand so that you can see how they would work together and they could be like a plus one to a party, right? So I'm gonna do that. Yes, there's gonna be a tag book, some kind of interact interactive flip book, um, but the Village Collection is a touch bigger and comes with all the things. I didn't buy that one. So maybe I'll have to see if I can get it. I don't know if it's still available. Um, because I'm down. I totally, if people have the village set out there and you'd like me, because we could make a whole village. We could do a whole bunch of stuff with that and then um, make a whole bunch of projects out of it, which could be really fun, couldn't it? Where we make it traditionally, like paper houses, but then we could figure out something else to do, like a wreath with the houses on it or, because I did that. Do you remember? The yarn one, I forgot. Do you guys remember that last year where we wrapped the um, shape in the yarn and then did the houses in it? That was super fun. That was probably one of my favorite techniques or projects. And then I ended up putting it on the wood frame. Do you guys remember that? There are three house sets. Last one is the biggest. I bought one, but I didn't buy the biggest one. Manor House is the largest set. Oh, I'll have to figure it out. There are Paper Village 2... You guys, somebody will have to send me a list. I'll have to figure it out. And then we have to decide what we're doing because I'd like you guys to have enough time to purchase the supplies. And then, so we aren't buying 12 million things. Let's collectively decide on what you would like me to focus on. And then um, for sure, it will be warm wishes and Vicky Booten um, mixed media things and all of that. But uh, then we have to decide what we want to make. Do we want to do some cards? Whatever. So you guys will have to help me with that because I don't care. I'll buy any of it, right? I'll buy any of the things that make you happy and then we can sit and craft with them. And I'll even reach out to Tim because if I can't find that house die, maybe he can help me um, locate one. But uh, you know I'm down. For sure, there'll be distress. We'll be using distress inks. That yarn wreath with houses was gorgeous. Let's do that again with the new houses or something similar to that, right? See you later, Nicole. I hope that um, you can join us a little bit tomorrow if you can. Um, hey, glitter grunge. Remember we did glitter, we did, so what we ended up doing, do you remember? We did all this mixed media using a whole bunch of different techniques and then that's what we cut with your dies out of the background. So I think it should be another um, dealio like that where we make like a whole whack of mixed media backgrounds and then you can use any dies you have to create. Like, wouldn't it be fun we could do like a metallic floral wreath? So we're, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to think on that after Monday because I won't be able to wrap my head around it before that, but Warm Wishes tag book. Uh, can also make some Warm Wishes cards. That would be fun, right? That would be fun. Yeah, if you can, I'd love that, Nicole. If not, have a fabulous weekend, and I will talk to you next week because we need um, to definitely catch up because I know I've been a bad friend to every friend that I have lately because um, I've been running on empty. I love these. How pretty is this, friends? So this is kind of a Vicky thing. Like these guys are going to fly up this card base. And then I think the base of my card is going to be black. And then I'm going to find a die to put some kind of um, title on it. I had picked this one, this thanks die. But it won't, I don't know if it will fit. Well, it can fit, go off, couldn't it? It could, couldn't it? There's no rules. His latest village set is the complete set. The best thing about friends is you can't be a bad one. Oh, that's very nice, Evelyn. 
uh, did he, uh, he did separate sets before, but then people couldn't find the coordinating pieces. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know a lot of stuff came out and I watched, but I missed some of the videos. So I have to decide um, or figure out what I need to purchase. Do you want to do something? Would, would everybody be down for doing like, um, because then wouldn't this be cool that all you have to do is buy like one of the house dies? with one of the sets and we can do a whole bunch of different techniques cut all of the different things out of it and then we could do a couple of projects using them plus some kind of tag book his latest village set is additional set to his first one so the first one um and remind me glitter grunge greetings what's your first name because i don't want to call you glitter grunge greetings ggg 3g 3g um, cut files are available on the internet too. Yes. So yes, I need to figure that out, right? Is that I have the first one that came out last year. I bought whatever one came out, um, earlier. And then I know that that was a huge reveal that the bigger ones came out, right? Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Um, amazing card maker friend. Uh, so yeah, I got to decide, but I want it also to be economical because I think that big set's pricey, right? But if you're like me, you just buy all of the things. I just haven't got a chance to get that, that Tim comes out with. If Tim comes out with it, Vicky says, add to cart. Usually while he's showing everything, I'm adding to cart on like three different sites. So I share the love with all of them, right? Like whoever is on his um, lives when he does them, I will add carts, add to my cart on all of their sites so that uh, I spread the love around. I didn't buy the set. Well, we can do something else too, though, right? All of the things. I just ordered your crayons and cannot wait to get them. I hope you love them. Um, I love the art crayons. Uh, and I just ordered all of Tim's glitter, new glitter ones. So we that will be part of it. I will be doing something with all of that as well. What do you guys think? So, but I think I want all the purple together and all the pink together. And then there was one that's kind of purpley and pink. So we could make these guys fly up the page. I love anything butterfly mothy magic just brings me complete and utter joy. So now just to kind of position them. They look better when I just threw them on there than when I actually do it with intention. <laughs> uh, it was better the first time, Vicki. Right, kind of like that. But we need one more layer. I am finding that I need to add something on here. So I'm gonna do that quickly and then we'll finish this baby. So I want gold. I'm gonna get some gold ink and I'm gonna find a stamp and I'm gonna put another layer on here because this is a little flat for me. We need to uh, vicify this. Just a second. Put this away because I'm going to fall on it because you guys have been here when I have literally fallen while I was crafting, trying to craft things. And that is not good. That is not a good look. Not a good look for Vicki when she falls while crafting. Not a good look. Ryan, I have to say it a few times because... I don't want people to not like me when I remember nothing. Seriously, brain fog. I'm in a constant state of, you knew it was coming, Serenity. You knew it was coming. We totally need to throw some text up the side of that. So I am going to throw some script on here. We're gonna kind of feed it up the side. I'm going to stamp it on here so I don't have to clean my mat up after. 
I love this gold ink from scrapbook.com is actually excellent. So let's see if it's going to look nice or not. But even if it doesn't, it's what we're going with. And I'm not even putting it on a block or anything. We're just going for it. I don't care if it's perfect. I just need something. Oh, can you see that? <gasps> so pretty. Good enough. Needed something, right? We needed something. So now let's decide how these guys are going to go up this card. But so for tonight, I hope you're seeing like this technique, right? The whole um, layering the texture paste on and wiping them off where it's only the memory and the hint of what was left in the paper is left behind. I love that now it's a flat workable, workable surface. So it definitely might not be your jam, but uh, do whatever makes you happy. So for tonight, all that I'm going to finish is the base. I'm going to still have to figure out what I'm doing for my sentiment. But for time's sake, because I have to be on tomorrow for, oh, I don't know how many hours. It's going to be a long one. Um, I need to um, sign off fairly early tonight. Well, look at I've already been on here for an hour and a half. But that's what I said. I said I was only going to be on here for around this amount of time. So um, I'm trying to stay with that because it will be a long time tomorrow for me to be live. And I don't want to be without a voice. And that is worrisome, right? I made a tea. I didn't actually drink it, but I made one. But I'm loving this. And I'm going to put a black base on it. I'm going to figure out some kind of sentiment in there. Or multiple sentiments might be kind of fun. But this is kind of um, what's going to go on here. I like this guy. Guy. Guy, girl, it. Swap those out. What do we think? Excited for tomorrow, but you need rest both for your body and your voice. You need sleep tonight. Yes, I know it. You know what I mean? But I did want to come on here still, but I love this. What do you guys think? This stamp set is everything, Mr. Holtz. I am a lover of everything he does and him and Mario anyway, like seriously, total um, friend and fan. But uh, I love when the stuff, I literally brought this in. It was outside, just had come in an order. Not outside, outside, but in, in the garage where I have 12 million boxes. And uh, I was like, I got to make something with this tonight. Because, not just for you guys, but because I love it. Right? And it's kind of fun when we get to actually craft with a purpose. So I was down for that tonight. And totally digging it. I don't want that one to go that way, maybe. Like this. And that one can kind of be off by himself a little bit. No. No. Yes. I like that. You love everything Tim does. Me too. I do love him. And and um, because I know him in real life, IRL, um, he is just one of my favorite people. And uh, he likes to hang deer heads on his fireplace like I do. It's funny when sometimes my decor stuff and then Tim will message me like, where did you get that? I love that. And I'm like, I know, Tim, you need it. 
And then we had a long conversation about what the name of his deer was going to be and what I named mine. And then when each holiday comes, I'm like, how are you decorating your deer head? <laughs> so I love that. He's a little bit crazy too. So that is my favorite. I love when I'm not the only wackadoo in the room. So I love it. Do you guys, you card makers out there, you card maker friends, do your cards have a lot of what's my, what's your deer head's name? Oh my goodness. I can't even remember now. I had named him last year when I got him. And then look at, are you surprised by that at all, Julie? His is Winston. Yes. Um, I forget what we named him. I can't even remember. He's going to have a new name. He's going to be the artist formerly known as, and then I'll come up with a new thing. I think all creatives are a bit nuts. I would totally agree with you, Ryan. Look at that, friends. Do you love it? So I have no black cardstock close by. So this is all I'm going to do for tonight, but this gives you an idea. I'm going to put it on black, and then I am going to, I think I would like that if I can find a small sentiment, and I would like a story of sentiments up the card. I think it would be really fun. There is nothing on this set, but I think I have a Tim set that has all like little mini sentiments, but don't you think it would be really fun to put like a sentiment that pops off like a little flag banner? Like so, or it could be something like um, tells a story down it. I think that would be really fun. I think that would be really fun. Instead of just one big sentiment that I'm just going to put little pieces that are on there. But you can imagine what it's going to look like, and then I'll post it next week. But that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that and just gives you another use for these texture pastes if you have them. You totally could have went over in another layer with texture paste if you wanted, like layer one more stencil on there and maybe a smaller linear pattern like I did the stamping. But uh, it's fun. And that stamp, when you can see it here, has a metallic tinge to it. But I'm loving that. So let me flip the camera away around and say my proper goodbyes. I am so glad so many of you joined me tonight. That was a lot of fun. Um, but like I said, we need to start making our plans for the end of November and December for what you would like to craft. Because if we're going to be showing up together, it will be a lot of fun. Hi. Hi. It'll be a lot of fun if we can kind of make a plan, right, for uh, what we would like to make. I love to make something that is memory keeping based. I would love to make something that's card and tag based. And then I would love to do something altered and craft based. So I would like that. I think it would be fun if um, so. Here's the plan is coming together in my head. I think it would be fun if the base mixed media technique is the same but showing you three ways to incorporate it into your crafts. So if we do a whole bunch of backgrounds like we did before, and that's why dyes are fun, but they don't have to be dyes. But I think if we pick, why don't we try to pick one or two die sets? And then there, we, there, there, it just came together. So we'll spend a week of mixed media where I might do a couple of lives showing you how to create the backgrounds. And then you can create multiples of them. And then we'll take it and take a die set that we then create out of that a whole bunch of different die cut pieces. And then we take all of those die cut pieces and we make three or four projects from it. Right. Um, I don't want it to be it. It can't be. Um, it has to be something like the houses are a great idea because think of all the things we could use them flat. We could use them um, 3D. It has to be something that like I think right off a floral of some sort or some kind of um, floral uh, um, holiday dye would be awesome. The houses could be awesome because even if you don't celebrate Christmas, you could still create with us. So we really need to think on that because I would think that I would like to keep the material list small. So it's something manageable that you guys could participate in. 
and that maybe we pick a stamp and a die set and then um the mediums will be all kind of all over the place but yeah gingerbread houses would be fun but maybe it will be the house die maybe it'll be the house die set and then we'll just think on it we can we'll do a wreath of we can do a wreath of some sort or something different i'm going to think on it so just know that that's the direction i'm going in next week i will let you know what you need and we'll talk about it and i'll post links because hey if you have to buy it and you can use my share sale links it costs you nothing but it helps me out because i'm going to be doing all of that for free those will all just it's going to be a very intensive because you know i don't do anything small um crafting extravaganza so we're going to do some fun things so let me think on that let me think on that uh, and then we will figure that out. But I want to get the list to you guys early so you can start sourcing it, right? So I'll send you links to the places that I uh, do share sale through, and then we'll figure something out. We're going to figure something out, but it's going to be so fun. Mini album with a holder for display. That might be a little bit too much. What I'm thinking is a tag flip book, cards, and then some kind of altered item like we did the wreath last year do you remember this is one of the things do you guys remember this this i made last year remember the globe is a little dirty but we did this well i did this last year from the houses Right, we did the hammered metal, gingerbread looking house. So we could definitely do some kind of version of this again, but that's what I'm talking about. We did all of the backgrounds, right? You can't see with the reflection. Did all of the backgrounds and then built the houses. And we did, the wreath was beautiful last year that we did. And I love this one. So it's in this jar and I had intentions of doing other things with it, but I think it could be fun as long as it's easy as if the dye is still available that's the biggest thing right if the dye is still available and what i love about this is if you're out there watching and you aren't maybe a memory keeper um a scrapbooker uh this is what you'd be down for because anybody out there who likes to craft and i think so we can get all of the peoples here is if we plan for it easy and i start talking about it on all my social medias then people can plan for it and be a part of it and um it's really it'll be really fun so i'll read through some of your comments because i would love um to hear what your ideas on do you want me to do another wreath or can it be something else that's altered and then a i think a tag book and a card and that's why the houses won't i don't think work for all of that right the houses will work for the altered bits but we need to figure out something it's going to be fun so i'm going to start i i will when my brain is back because this has been like a lot the workload um i'm going to work on that and then i'll put the list out there snow globe maybe well yes to a wreath so you guys like the wreath idea so i'll figure out some new version of it so last year we made one all out of leaves do you remember the leaf the leaf wreath and then we made the one wrapped in yarn with the houses on it, which was freaking gorgeous. That one turned out like that. And I don't just mean like <laughs> I made it. Oh my goodness, it was so gorgeous. I mean, out of projects I made, that one all in the creams and then with the craft colors. I'll have to pull it out. It's around here somewhere and I'll show you guys uh, next week. But we will do the thing. So have a great night. Have an awesome weekend. I hope you get some time to craft. If you are with me all weekend for the warm wishes weekend, we're going to have a blast. I'm literally going to clean up a little bit, at least so my workspace is ready. I'm going to go to bed early and I will be here tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time on the links that you guys have if you're in the class with me. And uh, if not, I'll see you next Friday for Friday Night Live and um, I'll figure out what we're doing. I'll finish this card and post it this week as well. So thank you very much. For joining me tonight you are the best company you fill my cup to overflowing every single week and i was very happy to see some new faces out here as well 
So thanks for joining me. And if you're watching after the fact um, on, uh, on rerun, if you're watching the rerun, um, thanks for joining me as well. And I hope you have a great day uh, as well. So have a good uh, night and we'll see you guys later. I'm going to just stop talking now. See you guys later. Bye, friends.